right? Hey guys, on the on the lifts, these don't need to be that tight. They're they're just lightly stabilizing the bike. We don't need to compress the suspension. Right well, now, if I try to move this bike, what's that chain gonna do on that sprocket? It's lock up that wheel. Go ahead, it's aluminum sprocket, so don't break it. Go ahead and just roll it back. It's just about where you can catch. What's happening is this is going to catch. That's not. This is steel. This is or this is aluminum. This is a steel chain. What's it going to do to the teeth of that? Tear them up. It's going to break them up. So for transportation, you got that front brake to hold. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I need a little bit tighter. Does that just make the chain roll along it? Yep. Hey, yeah. I just don't want to go fast. Have a cool little trick? Yeah, it is. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff I want you to think about. Customer comes in. Chris, put a piston in my motorcycle. I'm not paying you to work on my chain. I'm not paying to work on my tire. I want you to put a piston in my motorcycle. I know how to Mike. work on my chain. Are you with me? We're trying to do... This is the tricks that save time. Because if I don't have to take that chain off... Hear me. If I don't have to take the chain off, a couple things happen. Number one, I have no accountability to that chain. If I take the link apart and put it back on, I'm ultimately now part of that service. Does that make sense? Because I've touched it. Okay? So this is a neat little way to save time. That's why I was trying so hard to get you guys to not take your link off so that we could kind of practice and model the bungee cord trick. Uh, Art, you added something that I didn't that is, is important. As he said, go slow. If we just go haul and butt with this, that chain's going to bind up, snap those teeth off the sprocket. So let me, let me get you guys to think about this. When we do things right, we're profitable. We, we do have a, 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 a career here that we can uh, be a technician, we can profit and make some money. If I break that sprocket, any idea how much that rear sprocket is? 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, about 60, 70 bucks, okay? But that's no labor. Then I have to remove it, I have to install it, I have to ship it here probably or whatnot. Okay, we said that a top end is typically around 600 bucks or something, okay? You don't have to remove the engine for a top end. So let's say we're putting a crank in it, we're gonna have a $900 bill. Of that $900, how much of that's labor? Maybe 200, 250 bucks at the most. So let's just use 200. Break a hundred dollar, you break a seventy dollar sprocket labor. How much of your profit loss just went down the drain? Over the simple stuff, over just the really small stuff. Are you with me on that? Okay. So another thing I did is I brought out this real, you know, long cable tie because I've done this with my employees where I'll give them this and go do it, and they'll go, "Well, it's too long. It doesn't work." I just wanted to make a point of what the idea is there is then that you would just keep wrapping this around until it gets short enough. Just I'm just trying to spell these things out because you know you know what's really wrong about this is your boss looks at it and again says, isn't that common sense? Don't you know to shorten the cord? But is it really common sense or is it you don't know what you don't know? Which is it? Don't know, don't what, you know, know, you don't know. what you don't know. Okay, so there's no such thing until you do something once. We've all got to be taught it.